for the love of God, stop getting so passionate about things that don't matter. This is the introduction song. It's not very good, but it's not too long. I realize that's a broad statement, and it can mean a lot of things, but please just give me a minute to explain myself. I'm talking about the people who, a year and a half after the Game of Thrones series finale, are still bitching about it. I'm talking about the people who, three years after Luke Skywalker came back in The Last Jedi and didn't act exactly as, the, he, as they wanted him to, and they're still throwing a fit about it. I'm talking about that sort of thing, because people, I get it, okay? We love entertainment, okay? That's what my whole channel's about. It's about books, video games, movies, all that. We love that stuff, and we should, you know? There, a lot of it is great, a lot of it's fun, a lot of it makes you sad, makes you laugh, all sorts of stuff like that. And we do love it, but it's not real. Please, for the love of God, just stop getting so angry about it. And I'm bringing this up because I saw a uh, Twitter post the other day. I'm not going to point out who it was specifically because I don't want to cause drama. I don't want uh, other people uh, insulting them or anything like that. But it was a Twitter post that was still complaining about The Last Jedi. And I'm like, okay, look, I'm not saying you have to like that movie, okay? We all have our own opinions. And in fact, I'll get to that in a second. Don't worry about that. But, like, even if you don't like it... If you're still genuinely this fucking mad about it, that three years later you're posting on the internet about how much you hate it and how the filmmakers are hacks and how it shouldn't be canon, yada yada yada, you have a serious problem, okay? It's not real. None of this is real, guys. Like, uh, as I'm filming this, the people of France are burning down Paris because the police are trying to uh, take away what little accountability they have and they're rising up against it. Like, that's something you should be passionate about. Like, you should stand up for shit like that, or stand up against shit like that, because the government, when, it, when you give it a chance, will screw you over, so don't let them. But I think a really, really big part of the problem here is that people don't seem to understand what an opinion is, and they don't know what the fucking word objective means. I hate the word objective. I should not hate the word objective because it's just a word, but people, it's worse than literally at this point. Like, no one uses the word literally properly. Nobody. E ever. Like, once in a while I will see it, but very, very, very rarely will anyone use the word literally or objectively properly. Objectively means that that's, that's the only way it can be, okay? It's something that can be measured, and it, it's not subject to opinion. Like, for example, there are 50 states in the United States. That's an objective fact. That's not subject to opinion in any way, shape, or form. The only things that can be objective about any sort of story or any sort of media are the things that happen in it. Like, at the end of The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker becomes one with the Force. And I, I know I keep going back to that as an example, but like, that's just a really good example of people getting really pissy about something that doesn't matter, to the point where they're fucking harassing the people who worked on the movie, harassing the actors, sending death threats, all that fun stuff. But, yes, that, that's something objective that happened, because it's something that happened in the movie. But The Last Jedi is a good movie, or The Last Jedi is a bad movie, or The Last Jedi is the worst movie ever. Those are subjective. That's an opinion. People have different opinions. When you look at something, when you experience the world, you are experiencing it through a very, very complex set of filters. Okay, not just uh, through your own eyes and ears and all that, like, that's obvious, you know, and for the most part we all get the same thing, but through your own uh, cultural biases, through your own personal experiences, through your own, uh, however your mind was set up uh, genetically from the time you were born, because we don't know exactly how much, how big of a role genetics plays in that, but, you know, that's a part of it, certainly. And just a lot, a lot of various things all come together for you to form your opinion of something. And even if you can articulate or you can't articulate why you like or dislike something, that doesn't make it more important or less important or uh, more correct than anyone else's. That's just not how it works. I hate the lovely bones, okay? I've talked about it plenty. And as a brief aside, yes, I do get passionate when I'm talking about how much I hate it, but I don't go out of my way to talk about it. You know, it's only on certain uh, si situations that I will talk about it, and then when I talk about it for too long, I tend to get myself worked up. And that, I think, is 
perfectly fine, a uh, perfectly fine level of passion, and you can go a little beyond that, but again, if you're sending death threats to people, or if you're still upset about something years later, then you shouldn't be doing that. But there are plenty of people out in this world who, for one reason or another, love the Lovely Bones. I can't say I understand them, but I don't fucking need to understand them. I just need to leave it alone. Like, okay, they, they like it, I hate it more than I've ever hated anything. Whatever. It's not hurting anyone, and it doesn't matter. Like, just because I can articulate all the reasons I hate it, and I can point out, like, specific things in the book that makes me want to throw it across the room, that doesn't make my opinion better. That doesn't mean it's objectively good. Objectively good, because there's no such fucking thing. And if you go in the comments telling me about that, I will fucking ban you right now. I'm not joking about that. Anyone who says that their interpretation of a movie or a book or anything like that, if they tell you that there's an objective quality to it and that objective quality just so fucking happens to line up with exactly how they feel about it, they're an idiot. They're an overtly arrogant idiot. They, th that level of arrogance just sets me off way more than it probably should. But I hate when people say shit like that because that's not what the word objective means. And it's even worse when people say shit like, well, you can like it, you just have to admit that it's bad. Like, fuck off, man. Just fuck off. And I know it sounds like I'm talking about specific people or specific instances here, but not really. It's huge movements all across the internet in all forms of media that people like to do this. And I, why? It does not matter, guys. It doesn't matter. This is fake. Okay, if someone likes The Last Jedi or dislikes The Last Jedi, whatever, Leave it alone! Who cares? If they're not uh, getting up in your face about it, then wh what's even the point? Wh what do you have to gain by convincing somebody that The Last Jedi is objectively bad? What, what do you have to gain from that? What do you have to gain from convincing someone that the Game of Thrones finale is objectively bad and that they should feel stupid if they like it? What, what is there to gain from that? Now, obviously, this is really annoying just to have to watch it and have to deal with it on my own, but it's considerably worse when people get harassed over it or sent death threats or something like that. Because, like, again, Kelly Marie Tran, I, or shit, I, I hope that's her name, uh, the girl who played Rose in Star Wars got harassed off of social media because people just didn't like her character in the movie. I'm like, okay, she was, it wasn't a particularly good character, but w what does it matter? Like, people ha ha are so arrogant and so obsessed with this uh, media that is not real that they bring it into the real world and they actually attack people over it. Or like how people were sending death threats and promising to throw food and shit at uh, the Game of Thrones showrunners. And they so they refused to show up at a con and then people like Lindsay Ellis were calling them cowards for it. And then she immediately afterwards went and did a TED talk on how to survive online harassment because she's a hypocritical pile of shit, but you know, that the, the, that's, that's kind of getting sidetracked. The point is that people get way too angry about this shit because of that arrogant mindset. Like, that's where it comes from. The idea that, yes, my opinion is the correct one. And because I can articulate it, or because someone online can articulate it in a semi-coherent manner, that means this is the correct way to look at it. There is no other correct way to look at it. Like, it's just so annoying, so obnoxious, and quite frankly, it gets people hurt sometimes. <laughs> like, n not really physically hurt usually, but like getting death threats and harassment and just a wave, a tsunami of all that hate, like, that, that is hurtful after a while. Like, no one has infinitely thick skin. And I'm not gonna try tying this into the world too much. I probably could, but I would need to like, really research it and stuff if I wanted to, but I will say, like, this same mindset when you bring it into, like, politics and stuff can get genuinely dangerous, because then you're not no longer listening to what anyone else has to say, and you're just thinking not only are they wrong, but they're straight up evil, and that's when shit can really get out of hand. So just, you have to be careful with this sort of thing, guys. It's beyond just annoying and obnoxious. It can be get people hurt. I don't really consider this one to be a rant because I am thinking it through a little bit more before I come up here and I am, you know, obviously editing a little bit, like I'm cutting out bits, but it, it, it does feel ranty, I'll admit. But just, for the love of God, 
if you cannot understand what an opinion is and how it works, and and if you cannot understand that someone liking a video game that you don't like or disliking a video game that you don't like does not make them stupid, then just just take the word objective out of your vocabulary. Okay, take hit yourself over the head with a sharp or not sharp with a heavy object until you forget what that word is because you clearly don't know what it means. Anyways, I hope you're all having a good day, and uh, yes, I am working on the Rhythm of War review, and hopefully you don't have coronavirus, that, that'd be awesome. Huge, huge, huge thanks to all of my patrons whose names are here, including the $10 and up guys, Apo Savalainen, Ava Toomer, Brother Santodis, Christopher Quinten, Deanna Dahim, Embis, Emily Miller, Evan Stigall, Joel, Karkat Kitsune, Liza Rudikova, Madison Lewis Bennett, NB Star, Rees, Yarola, Sad Mardigan, Sandrino, Tobacco Crow, Tom Beanie, Vacuous Silas, and Vevictus. Without you guys, stuff like this would not be possible. So if you want to get your name on the list, or possibly get early access to my videos, or possibly other stuff, I don't know, then perhaps consider becoming a patron. If you can't do that, or you just don't want to give me your money, then just like this video, comment on it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That really helps a lot, and all that other stuff I'm supposed to say here. I'll see you later.